What the heck is up you guys? It's your boy Ace aka Animated Heroes here back with another action figure review and as you guys can see today we're going to be taking a look at the long awaited Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Peter B. Parker action figure from Mofex slash Metacom Toy. So let's not waste any time and dive right into this figure because this is one I've been waiting on for a while. Now for that sexy packaging, you got the standard with Mofex. You do have the window, as you guys can see. You have the figure with some of the accessories. You have an image of him right here. It says Mofex 109 Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Spider-Man Peter B. Parker action figure Metacom toy, which is my favorite line. You got Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse up top. At the bottom, all the legal stuff. On this side, you got an image of him shooting his web. On this side, you actually have a full image of him right here. And I dig that look because this is me 90% of the time around my apartment. And then, of course, on the back, you do have some poses you can get the figure into, some of the accessories, and some more legal stuff at the bottom. So that's it for the sexy packaging. Let's go ahead and bust this guy out because I'm super excited for this review, if you guys can't tell. Now, straight out of the packaging, this is what we get with Peter B. Parker. And I'll be honest. I love this so far. Just the look of this. I'm not even getting into the figure itself. Uh, there are some stuff I want to talk about, but the first thing I want to say is I really like the soft goods. I know that was an issue with the first release. A lot of people didn't like the soft goods on Miles. I don't know if it was just me, but I thought they were fine. Uh, everyone was saying they hindered the articulation, this and that, and I mean, everything worked for me, but um, I'm going to go ahead and show him off first off because I want you guys to see I don't think that this is going to hinder the articulation very much there is one thing that looks a little weird to me and that's uh this broken leg right here I don't know what is up with that that looks very weird I hope it's nothing warped under there uh, of course I'll be able to tell after I um take these off uh but yeah that that leg looks super weird with the uh I don't know, it's like he's got some super strong calf muscles back there or something. But anyway, back to this. Um, as you guys can see, I'm not doing the articulation. Uh, I'll get to that segment later. But it doesn't look like it's really hindering him much at all in terms of movement. As you guys can see, he still kicks forward. Um, he can do the splits about that much, which is about as much as you can do in a pair of sweatpants. Um, his arms are moving just fine. I'm fine with this. Um, there might be some reviewers that come out and say that I don't like the soft goods on this guy, but I love them. I don't have any issues with this at all. As you guys can see, um, you've got all this stitch work here for the pockets. One, two, three, four. You got all these right here for the buttons, uh, which is kind of weird because you get buttons on both sides. But I mean, whatever. Um, still, that's extra work on their part, which I guess kind of justifies me paying 105 bucks for this. But um, yeah. All the way through the back. This just looks so dope. I don't know. And this this is just my opinion, of course. Uh, but I really love this. Uh, you've got the uh, cheap looking sweatpants here, which this whole outfit looks extremely lazy and cheap. And I'm fine with that because that's how he was pretty much dressed in the movie. As you guys can see, he's got the boot on one foot and he's got the, uh, the Chuck Taylors on the other one, which this, this is dope. I'm cool with this. It, it looks like he comes straight out of the movie. And then the head sculpt. Perfect. I, I saved that for last just because they did such a phenomenal job on this head scope. I love this a whole, whole lot. That is awesome. Um, and then under the suit, as you guys can see, that's where some of my issues come from. Um, the uh, As you guys can see, there's some like gray paint in the red right here. Some black that's bleeding off of the spider logo. But really, that's where my problems come from, just the paint bleeding. But when it comes to the uh, the look of the, the soft goods and everything, and even just the overall look of the figure, I dig this. Uh, so that being said, let's go ahead and get all this off of him, transform him into Spider-Man, and then we'll continue on with the review. And I just hit my light. So if you guys hear that, yeah. But anyway, rambled on. Spider-Man time now. When it comes to him being in his spider suit, this is pretty much what you get, and this is exactly what I wanted. This is uh, actually what I wanted to be my definitive Spider-Man. I know a lot of people are probably going to think I'm crazy for that because they either prefer the McFarlane or the uh, the Bagley-style Spider-Man that was released by Mofex, but I like this skinnier, more comic book, more cartoonish look for Spider-Man. I really do dig this. Now, granted, the other one was cartoonish, but I just like this a little bit better simply because I really love how the uh, the blue is done on this one, this navy blue. I love how it mixes with the reds, as you guys can see. It just looks nice. 
All the sculpt work is there. Every single one of these lines on the body uh, that's painted in black was also sculpted. Now, they did miss in a few spots like right here, but for the most part, it's not bad at all. I do love the classic spider logo that's on the back. I dig that. Uh, the head sculpt is amazing. Once again, it has this textured look, but it's also all sculpted in. I like the spider eyes, the spider logo, um, and that blue. I, I know I said it, but that blue is just amazing. I really love how it's not this faded, like, darkish blue color. Um, I really do dig that. Now, I do want to get into one issue that people might have with this figure. Um, overall, I like the look, but this is an issue that I have as well. And I, I don't think this would even be considered to be a nitpick. If you look at this, this red right here, as you guys can see, this is like a, a darker red. And then you have right here at the ball peg, this very, very light red. And so it kind of breaks these up right here. It breaks up the connection from the hand to the wrist. And it's something that can be overlooked, especially on the feet. Uh, on the feet, it's not as bad or as noticeable. But when it comes to the hands, it's very, very noticeable. And I'm just questioning why they made this decision. Because if you look at the original Spider-Man... As you guys can see, it it's pretty much the same color from here, from the hand to the wrist on up. That ball peg or ball hinge right there is the exact same color. But then on this guy, we have this very, very light red. And um, I don't know. I don't know what made them decide to go with this decision. Now, it's not a deal breaker, but for 105 bucks, <sighs> come on, man. Come on, my facts. Y'all could have fixed that. But um, anyway, um, another thing I wanted to tackle is uh, this being my definitive Spider-Man. He's not extremely fat either. I don't know why I decided to throw that out there, but it's something that I was worried about. I was like, ah, oh, man, this dude's going to have a gut, and so it's not going to look cool when I pose him doing the stuff that this Spider-Man would do, but it's not that bad. So, like, you could you could totally make this work. So, yeah, just wanted to throw that out there. But anyway, I've rambled on enough. Let's put him back, and I'll get into everything else, and I'll try to move a little quicker because I don't want to keep you guys here all day. Now, when it comes to the height on this guy, as you guys can see, he is right at about six and a quarter inches tall. Uh, he feels a little bit short in comparison to most of my Mofex figures, but then again, who knows? We'll definitely do some size comparisons later and see what he scales with. Now, for his articulation, he looks up very, very well, looks down even better. He does get tilt and movement at the neck, as you guys can see. Arms go up and out about that much. He does have butterfly joints, so you can bring his arms all the way in. As you guys can see, he does have a bicep swivel, double-jointed elbows. Hands are on a huge hinge, but you can bring these in pretty much however you want. He does move quite a bit at the diaphragm, goes back about that much. Beware of the gap goes forward about that much you can do even more at the waist and you can go back even more at the waist um, he does have swivel of course now his legs are on the drop down method as usual he kicks forward about that much uh, doesn't really kick back if you drop down both he can do the splits almost completely he does have a built-in thigh swivel double jointed knees foot goes down about that much up about that much he does have ankle rocker and he does have toe hinge so once again mofex knocking it out of the park whenever it comes to the articulation all right so when it comes to the accessories this guy comes with a ton I'm going to try to run through these pretty quickly because I've already done a lot of talking about it. But uh, he comes with a pair of relaxed hands straight out of the package. He comes with the default Spider-Man face, as you guys can see. He comes with a pair of, these look like they can hold items. I, I guess like a pair of holding hands. He comes with a pair of whip hands, of course. He comes with a pair of fist hands. He comes with a pair of mask holding hands as you guys can see and for the extra mask which i'm showing now it has a hole in the top and you just pretty much can plug it into this little piece right here i'm not sure how well my light is hitting it but um you just plug that mask in and it sits right in there so you guys don't have to worry about that coming loose um he comes with a pair of 
wall crawling magnet hands and then he comes with a pair of just regular wall crawling hands and as you guys can see there's a little bend in the fingers right there to let you know that that's exactly what they're for he comes with a pair of magnetic feet he comes with a pair of regular feet which the sculpt work on these is pretty nice uh, much better than sh figure arts and rso but yeah um he comes with a tim it would be so dope if this was the lighter brown he comes with a chuck taylor um, he comes with a, I guess this is like a, an annoyed face. <laughs> I don't know, but I like that. He comes with his head sculpt, which I freaking love. I, I already said that, but, um, he also comes with a half unmasked head sculpt. You can see he's smiling in this one, in this head sculpt right here. He looks like he's angry, focused. I really, really dig that. Um, he comes with a hand that's holding a cup of coffee. That's totally me in the morning. He comes with a hand or actually just a pizza, not a hand for it. Uh, but yeah, he comes with a slice of pizza. He comes with a pair of extra legs, which these were already shown outside of the package. Um, he comes with his jacket, as you guys can see. And I'm just running through these quick because I already showed these and his sweatpants. Uh, both look really good in my opinion. Now for the webs, I'm only going to show one of each, but he comes with two of everything that I show. He comes with uh, one of the longer web shooters, as you guys can see. He comes with a smaller web shooter, and then he comes with, and I'm saying web shooter, it's actual webbing. But yeah, and he also comes with a web that you can slide into the web holding hand as you guys can see it goes just like this if i can get it in there um but um yeah that's pretty much how you do it it doesn't want to go i might need to heat it up a little bit but um yeah pretty much how you do it it's coming with that hand for holding the web so yeah whole lot of accessories um i'm happy with that i definitely can't complain because it made it worth what i paid now for some size comparisons, here he is standing next to the first release Metacom Toy McFarlane slash Bagley style Spider-Man, the Spider-Man Homecoming figure, which I feel like they should have used these colors for this Spider-Man because this costume definitely popped in the movie and I feel like that would have made this figure better. But um, yeah, the Homecoming Spider-Man and of course the Marvel Legends Retro Wave Spider-Man as well. Next up here he is standing next to the Metacom Toys Carnage, the Metacom Toys Venom, and the Metacom Toys Adult Miles Morales, which I feel like these two would look dope in some tag team photos. They just seem to complement each other very, very well. Here he is standing next to the Marvel Legends Doc Ock, the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Prowler, and the Marvel Legends Classic Outfit Vulture. Now, in case you're eager to go ahead and get it on with the photos of the original Fire from Into the Spider-Verse, here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Spider-Man Dior, the Metacom Toys Miles Morales, the Marvel Legends Spider-Gwen, and then, of course, she comes with Little Spider right here. As you guys can see, the only one I feel like is really out of scale is Spider-Gwen. She's just a, a little bit too tall, but everything else I feel like you could really make work. Now, being completely straightforward with you guys, this figure is everything that I thought it was going to be, and I'm happy. I really have nothing to complain about when it comes to this release, other than the fact that the hinges that connect at the feet and the wrist are not the same color. That's really my only issue with this guy. Everything else is perfectly fine with me. The paint on this guy is amazing. The detail is amazing. The articulation you guys saw the accessories I had to go over. That part was stressful. I had to re-record that like four or five times just because I hate messing up too many times when I'm filming a segment. But man, this this is dope. Uh, guys, man, if you haven't got your hands on this, I suggest you do so now. I don't know how a lot of people decide to skip out on MoffX releases and then they're unable to find them after they release. Now, I will say a lot of times... They do sell out, but you're not going to get it retail by the time it releases. That's just not going to happen because of the fact that they leave the window open for pre-order pretty much until the figure comes out. So if you don't get your hands on a MoffX release, you're asking to pay way more for it. Stop waiting on reviewers. 
pick these up, guys. Like, I, I and the only reason I'm saying this is because I've been flooded with DMs about how did I get this? How did I get that so fast? Oh, I gotta get it, but I can't find it. Uh, it sold out everywhere. That's going to happen, guys. Please pre-order these figures. Therefore, you're not asking a bunch of reviewers how we got ours. I got this at AmiAmi. Maybe it's still up there for sale, but I'm not promising anything. Um, but yeah, if you can find it, get it. If you're, you might not be able to find this guy for less than 150. I'm not entirely sure. I can't tell you because after these release, the the price just skyrockets because now you're dealing with the aftermarket. Um, but as far as the review goes, he's a great figure. He's solid. Perfect for adding into your Spider-Verse collection. I feel like you guys will really enjoy them, especially if you love everything else that Metacom has done with the other Spider-Man releases. You guys should have no problem enjoying this figure, especially with everything that he comes with. So that's my review. No point in me rambling on any further. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That always helps me out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new content. And lastly, follow me on everything you see listed in the description below. I will be back for another review soon uh, with the SH Figure Arts Doctor Strange and, of course, Metacom Superman. So be on the lookout for those, and I'll talk to you guys then. Peace.